guys, Dawn's Beauty for All. I hope everyone is having a great day. And today what I'm going to do is, you can see I'm a little closer and a little more personal, is I'm going to do my Get Unready With Me uh, skincare routine for what I would do every night. Now, if I was not wearing makeup, what I would use is the Hanawa, um, what is this? the Hanawa Pakai cleansing cream followed by the Hanawa Hawaiian Beauty Water. I'd spritz that on a cotton ball or two, rub it all over my face and then my neck and the back of my hands too. I would exfoliate that, believe it or not. Then next I would use either the Luxme Creme de Nil. I got this in a pearlesque box. Or I would use the Meta Intensive Replenishing Face Balm. You saw this one in my October wrap up. Same as this one in my October wrap up. In my empty, but this is the one that I have left. See, halfway done. Then after that, I would use the Osea Atmosphere Protection Cream. So that in my wrap up, I'm continuing this into November. And then I would use the Mad Hippie Eye Cream, or I have another one that I don't want to really bring on camera because I'm still on the fence about that one as well. This one I'm almost finished with, so once I'm done with this, I'll bring that one out. Okay guys, so what I would do here, now I'm going to get um, some tissues. I got them down here. Ugh. Okay. And you can see I have all my makeup on. Get that open there. Now what I would do for my routine now that I have a full face of makeup is that I am using this Biosance, the Purifier Soothing Cleansing Oil. They do not make this anymore. I believe this has been discontinued so you can't find this unless you go on eBay or Amazon. I don't even know what this would cost if you could get it. So I would use three or four pumps of this and then I'd rub it all over my face. Sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder. I need to train myself when I have the camera facing this way. I have the forward facing camera so I could see what I'm doing. And look at the camera. It's right, right there. Okay. So I would take three. Let me fix this. Hold on. Fix it a little bit. Down a little bit. Okay. Three or four pumps of this on my hand. One, two, three. I rub it in my hands. And all over my face. The mascara I'm using is waterproof, so I need something like an oil cleanser to get this gunk off. Now I'm going to um, spritz my face with a little bit of water to get this emulsified. I'm just going to put it in my spritz it in my hands. It's a little cold. Okay, so um, since I put this on and I spritz some water on there, what I would normally do at this point is I would get into the shower, uh, shower off hair, body, and everything else, rinse this all off in the shower, to let it sit for a bit to get every last bit of makeup off. But since I'm not getting into the shower, I have a warm washcloth here and I'm going to press it into my face. This is an old, old washcloth. Fingers. I would pick the oldest one that I have in the closet. That's okay. I'm just going to press it in a little bit just to let it help loosen things up and then I'm going to start. It's more like a little bit of a, it helps exfoliate my skin a little bit as well. 
So right after this, I would use the um, Hanawa cleansing cream. I'm going to use it, and then I'm going to use a tissue to tissue it up, and then I'm going to use the washcloth to clean it up. So I usually use anywhere between three and five pumps of this, so I'm going to use three today. I don't really need a lot. So we've got one, two, three. You can see what it looks like. It's pink. It's a rose cleansing cream is such a nice cleansing cream so smooth I really like it I like the Hanawa products I'm gonna warm it up in my hands because it's cold and it goes on your skin it's really mostly clear it's not too I mean it's really not that kind of cream where it's has a color like a lot of them are white they go on white I would leave that for a couple minutes. Okay. Actually, if I was taking a shower, I would have the BioSense on, and then I do this out of the shower, back in the sink, and then continue my routine. I made a mistake. Sorry about that. And that's what happens with brain fog. Because I'm in the fog. If I start singing, guys, ignore me. I'm a dork. I like singing. So, I'm careful. I use plain tissues. Just, that's all I need. And my nose is running. I basically am allergic to just about everything. So, it's, you know, I'm not going to stop using what I like right now. As long as I'm not having any mast cell attacks from any of this, I'm okay. Then I'm going to take the same washcloth and I'm just going to pat that down, mostly. Okay, so now I'm done with the cream. I'm going to put to the side stuff I use. The next thing I'm going to use is the Hawaiian Water by Hanawa. And what I do is I spritz this onto cotton balls. I use two because they're really small. These are the store brand ones I get. I should be getting the organic ones. From Maxim, I believe, makes them. I know I use their uh, ear swabs. And I really, I'm spritzing it really well. And I hold them together and I just rub them all over my face. And I do the brow area as well. I stay off the lids. I did this part of my under eye area. Okay, and the next step, <clears throat> as I said, I would use the Acure Organics Rose Hip Oil. You can see I'm at the bottom. I have hardly any left, so it's really hard to get this one out. I have to hold it at a certain angle. You can see what it looks like. And I pat that in my hands, and then I'll pat that face. I love the scent of the rosehip seed oil. Down my neck. Oh, go. Rub up. Alright, 
make sure I get it onto my lids because I like the oils around my eyes. They help a lot. That, that thing right there, I don't even know what that is, but whatever it is or was, it's beginning to heal. done. Uh, whatever excess I have left, I rub into the back of my hands. And my hands are not as dry as they usually are at this time of year, which is very shocking. Okay, so I'll put all that stuff to the side. Now what I would do is I would go on to either the Meta um, Face Bomb or the Looks Me Creme de Nil. Now for today I'm going to use the Creme de Nil because I used the oil, the um, Rose Hip Secret Oil. Whoops, almost broke it. I'm going to use the Creme de Nil and you'll be able to see that I've used this a lot and I can't get it open because my hands are slippery. And you can, you'll be able to see I've used this quite a bit. I'm almost down to the bottom. I take the little spatula that was given to me with it. It says to take a pea size. I take about that much. Put it on my hands. I rub it in my hands just to get it warm. I pat it in. Down my neck. And then for my last moisturizing step, I would use the Osea Atmosphere Protection Cream. Now let's see if this is going to come out. Better come out, guys. I use about five pumps, and that's about five pumps. And I warm this up in my hands. I love the scent of this. Pat it all over first. Make sure I get it spread out good. It's so nice and smooth going on. Now, I can't say that I like one product better than the other. I like them all because they all have their own unique way of working. But using them together, I, mean, I think it enhances their abilities and what they do instead of using them alone. So if I just use this cream alone, I don't know if I would get the full benefits as if I use it with everything. But I, really, I really enjoy all of these products. I do. And, and, and I'm glad that they're all cruelty free, which helps me a lot. I mean, it helps I really have been trying really hard to make sure I Everything I have is cruelty free now. I'm really trying to go one step further and go completely um, green or clean, as I say. I am doing a lot more research with my uh, makeup products and things. I'll do a video on why I'm going to try to transfer, uh, switch out all my makeup to green. One of the foundations I'm really looking at is the Gressa Minimalist Foundation, the uh, Serum Foundation. I'm dying to try that one, but I am going to be ordering the samples on it so I can figure out you know, which um, shade is my shade because when I look at them online, it's unclear because I have, uh, I'm cool toned, I'm not warm toned. But I can wear silver too. I look better in silver than I do in a gold, gold color. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm losing my mind here. That's okay. The, yeah, every time I wear something warm toned, I look, I look either washed out or I look like a yellow rose. Doesn't look good on me. And then on my last step, I would use mad hippie eye cream and they pump out a small amount in the back of 
my hand. And that's about it for both eyes. And then I will take it and dot this around on the bottom on my under eye. And I do the same thing again on this side. Here is my Honeybee Gardens Tropical Lip Balm, and I would use this at night. I would not use this during the day because it does not have any SPF in it, as far as I can tell. No, does not. <clears throat> kind of neat, the ingredients: coconut oil, beeswax, sweet almond oil, jojoba flavor, vitamin E, stevia. Can't get any plainer than that. I mean, it's just a little white lip balm. And that is it. And that's it. That is my nightly get unready with me routine. <clears throat> this is what I would do every night. I shower in the evening. I don't like showering in the morning because I like it as you know to relax me. So yeah guys, this is it, my routine. Tell me what you think of the products that I use. Um, if you would use any of them, what would what what cruelty free product do you think that I should try as either my morning or my nightly routine? Let me know in the comments below. Okay guys, take care and I will see you all in the next one. Okay. Bye, guys.